Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to possibly a new series. I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna see it's a trial run to see if this will work within the movie community. Quite honestly, I don't know if it is in here or not. I haven't checked, but I did get this idea off of the booktube good book talk community, book talk community for the TBR jar picks that month's reads and you know there's an ever-growing list in whatever you're doing you know the books what you're reading your shelf of shame shape of opportunity whatever you want to call it as far as board games go and then like your ever growing to watch list this is my well my bucket my popcorn bucket obviously because they both with the theme now this is the second time i'm filming this because my car did some kind of crazy stuff as i was in the middle of picking my movies out of here most of these are first time watches but there is a handful that will be branching into another series which is called second chances or second opportunities i'm not exactly sure what i'm calling it because i suck at like playlists or like series names or whatever but basically movies that i've seen once that i uh, was just like meep you're really not for me but they are very very beloved so i'm giving them a second opportunity to see if it changes my mind or if it's just generally not a movie for me which is totally fine because you know what some of the movies are just not for everybody for whatever reason but i am at least i feel like i should get you know like on the back whatever I don't know what this was that I am going in there and giving them another shot because like like I said earlier I think I said it earlier it might have been in the other video I just maybe wasn't in the mood for it at that particular time was it in the right mindset I am definitely like a mood watcher which is why this month I haven't really been watching a lot of movies like literally my wrap up for August is gonna be like that quick if I say that quick and watch me ramble on forever today as I tend to I've only seen five movies you guys you know life is kind of sometimes and we just haven't been able to get to the theater as much. We've been having uh, car issues. Like I said, I'm a mood watcher. And I just really haven't been in the mood to watch anything. Um, like as far as movies go, I've really only been in the mood to like watch reruns. So I've been watching a lot of Friends, Big Bang Theory. I started rewatching Shit's Creek. I am watching um, Only Murders in the Building. That's like a weekly thing. How this is gonna be working? We're just gonna be pulling uh, ten movies out well i already have i have six out because like i said i'm redoing this and i'm not gonna put them back in here we're, i'm not gonna cheat even though i do want to cheat on one movie i really don't want to rewatch that as far as uh rewatches go most of them are like second time and there's maybe like three or something that would be a third watch so maybe third time is a charm but very quickly let's go ahead and go uh with the ones that i have pulled already which is batman the long halloween part one um oh also if it is like a series or a franchise or whatever we're of course going to start off with the first one and depending on how i feel once i rewatch it or first time watch then we'll put in the sequel and then we'll just go from there and then whatever movies i don't end up watching that month they're not gonna roll over into the next month they're just gonna go back into the bucket right away off the bat we got one that i just didn't want to watch that was like maybe i should put it back in the bucket because i don't like it it was boring the lord of the rings i watched all of all of it the whole trilogy that one might be be put back in the bucket every <laughs> Then we have Blue Bayou. Okay, so Antonio the Block is a Korean adoptee raised in a small town in the Louisiana Bayou. He's married to the love of his life, Kathy, and raises his beloved stepdaughter, Jessie. Struggling to make a better life for his family, he must soon confront the ghost of his past after learning that he could be deported from the only country he's ever called home. Then we have Baby Driver. This will be part of like maybe third time's a charm. And then we have Eighth Grade. And then the last one was the boy in the striped pajamas, which my cousin tells me that I will cry in. So I just have to make sure that I have tissues going with that. Up next, yeah, I know that I'm not shutting. We have Blade Runner 2049. Uh, this one is a first time watch. Yes, first time watch. I'm like trying to think. I feel like a lot of people know. Should I tell y'all what it is for those who don't? I don't know what it's about to be honest with you. Blade Runner 2049, 2017. Oh wait, I thought that was the other one. Am I supposed to watch the other one first? Or is this like the sequel? Or is this just like a new thing? <sighs> Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know if I need to do the other one first. All the dogs are coming over here. Okay, so Officer K, a new Blade Runner for the Los, Los, why can I say Los Angeles? <laughs> so Officer K, a new Blade Runner for the Los Angeles Police Department 
unearth a long buried secret that has the potential to plunge what's left the society into chaos. His discovery leads him on a quest to find Rick Deckard, a former Blade Runner who's been missing for 30 years. Um, is that his papa? Is that, is that who they are? Are they related? No sé. No sé. Let's see here. Then we have Watchmen. I have seen Watchmen before. Wait. Yes, I have. I didn't like it. Honestly, I don't remember it. Let's just say it. it's not that I didn't like it. I don't remember it. it because I, I think I didn't like it. We got In Bruges. I don't know what that movie's about. After a particular difficult job, Hitman Ray and Ken head to Belgium to hide out until things cool down. Ray hates a medieval city uh, they land in, but Ken finds it beauty, finds its beauty and peacefulness enchanting. Their experience becomes increasingly surreal, surreal, so <laughs> surreal, and possibly life-changing as they encounter tourists, locals, an American dwarf, and a potential romance. Hooray! Okay, last one for September will be. I think that's two. Yes, I had two in there. The map of tiny perfect places. This is one I've been wanting to watch. I feel like this is gonna make me cry. I really, really do. Did I say things or places? I think I said places. I put the name in wrong. The map of tiny perfect things. It's a 2001 movie. So the map of tiny perfect things is a 2021 American science fiction romantic comedy film directed by Ian Samuels from a screenplay. Wait, that's not the thing. Where is the synopsis? Well, I don't see us. Oh, uh, it just is a fat science fiction deal. I don't know. Yeah. But those are the movies. That is 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Those are the 10 movies that I plan to watch within the month of September. And I know I could give myself more, but like I said, I really haven't been wanting to watch too much like movies. And this will kind of force me plus whatever I'm gonna be watching and we don't need the wrap-ups to be that that long because I know I'll be talking a lot uh, but yes let me know what y'all think about this like new series we're gonna like it's gonna be a trial run I don't know exactly if I'll continue doing it let me give me y'all feedback give me y'all feedback if y'all if y'all do enjoy this I really enjoy watching these videos you know in the book community I think it's really interesting again just to kind of get a sense of what that particular creator is gonna be um, reading within that month I think it's interesting you know as you as a viewer to be like oh, okay well I love Lord of the Rings like wow you didn't like it okay let's see are you gonna like it the second time around you watch it you know or like whatever else I have um I'd be pulling like later on I think it's like a nice opportunity to maybe have a conversation about it you know again I don't plan on reviewing all these movies but right now um uh, the one honestly that I am most excited least excited would be Lord of the Rings I'm just gonna say that right now I am least excited about that one um I am probably the most excited to watch The Boy in the Striped Pajamas I think that's the one because I've been really wanting to watch this one for a long time. It's not like a great, great selection, I would say, but I think it's a nice, like, honest one. Like, I saw that I pulled it out of here. It is what it is. It's not like I just randomly, well, I mean, I did randomly pick, but, you know, like, randomly, but they were, like, constructively picked um, deal. If you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe. All that good stuff let me know which one you're most excited for me to watch and hopefully i will then love it as much as you do but don't get your hopes up for lord of the rings like really don't do it just kind of like come to terms that that girl right there lord of the rings in for her but kudos for trying to re-watch it and maybe me. Okay, you guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.